chapter 18 through desire a man having separated himself seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom a fool hath no delight in understanding but that his heart may discover itself when the wicked cometh then cometh also contempt and with ignominy reproach the words of a man's mouth are as deep waters and the well spring of wisdom as a flowing brook it is not good to accept the person of the wicked to overthrow the righteous in judgment a fool's lips enter into contention and his mouth calleth for strokes a fool's mouth is his destruction and his lips are the snare of his soul the words of a tale bearer are as wounds and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly he also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous runneth into it and is safe the rich man's wealth is his strong city and as an high wall in his own conceit before destruction the heart of man is haughty and before honor is humility he that answereth a matter before he heareth it it is folly and shame unto him the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity but a wounded spirit who can bear the heart of the prudent getteth knowledge and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge a man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men he that is first in his own cause seemeth just but his neighbor cometh and searcheth him the lord causeth contentions to cease and parteth between the mighty a brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city and their contentions are like the bars of a castle a man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of the lord the poor useth entreaties but the rich answereth roughly a man that hath friends must show himself friendly and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother